So in this video, I will show you how to use Marvin Sketch to draw the chemical structure of a peptide from its sequence. So to do that, uh, we first need to import a sequence into this canvas. So you go to the edit, the source. So the source describes what is on this canvas, and you want to have a sequence. So let's use the name of the city. Uh, as the uh, peptide sequence. Uh, it's Windsor. We know that O is not a uh, natural amino acid, so we remove it. We end up with uh, wind SR. So we import this into the campus. The program recognizes as a peptide sequence of one letter code. And this is correct, and we can do import. If not, then you can scroll down and see whether this is the RNA sequence or something else. So you do import. You have this uh, sequence on the canvas now. Next step is to uh, expand the functional groups. So we press the right button of your mouse and do expansion. See, now you have a chemical structure of this uh, peptide. The problem here now is that some of the old side chains are overlapping with each other and the bound angle of this uh, carboxyl group is not proper. So you need to clean up. So what you do is go to select the molecule, go to structure and clean in 2D. Now you have a nice uh, chemical structure of the peptide. But then we still have uh, one more uh, issue is that this peptide is not properly uh, protonated or charged. So let's do change the charge of different functional groups. So we know that the primary amine of this one is uh, positive charged. And so what you do is you click the plus sign, which is stands for increase the charge. You have a positive charge, so you click this. Now see you have an H2 here right now. You click, it changes to an H3. Now the issue is that it does not display the positive charge properly because you have this explicit hydrogen. So you select this functional group and you click right button. See, you can remove this explicit hydrogen and now you have the proper charged protonated uh, amino group. Now we know that this carboxyl group should be carboxylate and negative charge. So you you select the negative charge and put this negative charge on the uh, carboxyl group one and two because you have this D uh, wind, right? So this is also supposed to be negative charged. What else? We know that lysine and arginine are supposed to be positive charge and we have a arginine here. This uh, is a guanadino group. So this supposed to be positive charged, and we add a positive charge to it. Now, anything else? No. So this is the properly charged form at, uh, let's say, pH 7. This should have two positive charge and two negative charge. And this is a actually uh, neutral. N net charge is zero. Now, we can also see that this is a chiral center, and this is isoleucine, which also has a chiral, two chiral centers. And other uh, amino acid residue only have uh, one chiral center. And then let's see what is the uh, absolute configuration of these chiral centers. So you select this by click uh, left button. And then you click right button, it would pop up a uh, menu. The first one is the stereo. And you can see it tells you this is a uh, S configuration. Let's look at this I solution. Stereo, and you see it's also S. So all these uh, chiral centers are in S form. You can uh, inspect one by one. You can make this a different uh, configuration. If you change this to R, which will make it a D amino acid. So you can change this all of them to a D amino acid one by one. 
So it's very easy to do. So you can practice, practice this uh, you, on your own computer using the software and have fun.